Hi, I'm Strawberry Sue and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'd like to introduce to you two of my favorite strawberry friends. This is Eva L. Griffin from Shady Acre Farms and Dee Dee Grooms from Fancy Farms. And we're here today to share two of their favorite recipes that they serve to their families using fresh Florida strawberries. And we are Farmers, Farmers Wives. Wives. Hi, I'm Dee Dee Grooms, I'm a farmer's wife, and I'm married to Carl Grooms. We've been married for 40 years. The name of our farm is Fancy Farms. Today I'm going to be making strawberry bread. It's one of my family's favorite recipes. Uh, I, I usually make it for all kinds of events. About two weeks ago we had an um, international conference where I made enough for 100 and over 100 people. And at that time I did it in a jelly roll pan. But today I'm going to be using the little eight mini loaf pans because as use it for giving gifts and that's what I use that for. So right now I will start the recipe and I start out with two, three cups of all-purpose flour. Then you're going to pour in two cups of sugar. Then this is a large jello which is six ounces of strawberry jello. Then I'm going to use, in this I'll be using uh, two um, teaspoons of so baking soda, one teaspoon of salt. You just kind of want to mix this around a little bit before you start pouring your wet ingredients. And a lot of times I take these ingredients here, my dry ingredients, and I'll pre-measure them and put them in a baggie and just keep it on hand because I never know who's going to pop in at my house. So now I'm going to add two cups of pureed strawberries. I'll make sure I get all the strawberry juice in there. That's what really makes the bread nice. as it turns more red as we add the juice and that's what gives it and the jello gives it that real pretty red color. You want to mix it well because when you add your other ingredients especially your sour cream so that it mixes very well into the batter. Okay now this is eight ounces of sour cream we're going to add to the mixture. We're continuing mixing to make sure it's very well blended. And I'm going to add four eggs. Now we're going to add one cup of oil, vegetable oil. We're going to add two and a quarter teaspoon of vanilla and two and a quarter teaspoon of almond. Now that we've mixed this very well, we're ready to pour it into either eight mini loaf pans, you can use four regular size loaf pans, or sometimes I use a jelly roll pan if I'm going to cut it in two inch squares, depending on the need. Now that you have it in your pans, for the ones that are not allergic to nuts, I usually put walnuts, or if you don't like it, you can leave it off. I also sometimes, for people that have um, can't have seeds, I will strain my juice, which is a little more work, but you can strain your strawberries and get all the seeds out of them and just use the juice. And I've done that for people that cannot tolerate seeds. Now we have our mixture in our eight mini, mini pans, so now we're going to put it in the oven and bake it at 350 for approximately 20 minutes. Sometimes ovens vary, so you may need to change and look at it within 20 minutes. You might need another five minutes. Once your bread is taken out of the oven and cooled slightly, you can cool it for about 10 minutes. Then I take a butter knife and I just kind of run it around the edges like this. And then once I do that, I just kind of just come right out like that. 
Then I'm going to cut it into small pieces. And you just take your bread and you're just going to layer it on this pan. And you can take a strawberry and garnish. I am a farmer's wife and I hope you enjoy this strawberry bread today made with Florida fresh strawberries. It's one of our specialties at Fancy Farms and I hope you enjoy it very much.